and that is just a quick tip on how to add gussets to a panel with a curve. First, you're going to find the middle point for your gusset and for your panel. With the right side facing you, you're going to fold this and find that middle point. And you're going to do the same with a gusset. This is easier because I is joined in the center. But if you don't have this and you have a whole piece, you you know fold it in half and find that center. And you're going to match both centers. Okay, like that. Then you're going to open it. You can also place a marking or a little snip to mark this in. And the first thing I do is that I put Wonder Clips right along that bottom where the center is. Then I take my gusset and I take the end of the gusset and I align it towards the top of the panel. on both sides. Then I take some wonder clips and I align the straight sides of the panel along that gusset. this point you have your curves they're not clipped or they're not pinned yet and you have your gusset here so the way that you're going to stretch your gusset open it up is by clipping the curves now when you clip your curves I already started and I have very small clips here but what you want to do is you want to clip it as much as you can, about a quarter inch distance, okay? Ideally, your seam allowance is going to be a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch, uh, because that way you can clip it as deep as possible and not touch your stitching when it's time to join it together. So that really helps open up that gusset and make it as flat as possible and align to your panel. And so what you're going to do is once you have that, you make sure you, you know, take your gusset here and you're going to snip it as much as you, as much as you can, as much as you want, really. It's not going to hurt. And once that is flat like that, you can push it to match the curve and the fabric is going to give in. With the panel against the table, so flat against the table, you're going to now place some wonder clips. You're going to do the same on the other side. Consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you have learned something today. Now, at this point, you will stitch your pieces together. There are two ways you can do this. Most typical way is you start at the bottom, at the top, go down all the way around the curve, 
the bottom, the other curve, and the top. However, I've noticed that sometimes it's best if you start at the center and stitch one side going from the bottom up and then go back to the center and start from the bottom up to the on the other side okay if you have a walking foot it's best to use the walking foot if not it's okay you don't need it it's not necessary but it it, it, it is very helpful especially if you're beginning to do this type of um, gusset work but other than that when you start and when you end, make sure you back stitch. You stitch three forward, three back, and then three forward again all the way to the top. And when you get to the end, you're going to back stitch three and then three forward, and then you can cut your thread. Do the same on the other side. And that helps the fabric move up and, and it helps with the curves and all of that so go ahead and do that now it is and I have to admit I'm using waterproof canvas for this and waterproof canvas is a little more stiff than regular quilting cotton or even home decor some some home decor so that really sometimes makes it a little bit more difficult to handle um, especially this waterproof canvas some of them are kind of soft but this one is a little stiff but that's it you guys look how good it looks and I truly believe the secret is starting at the center and going around on one side and then going back to the center and doing the other side because as you're stitching it the fabric is shifting a little bit even if you don't even if you have a tons of clips the fabric you, you is shifting and so you want the fabric to kind of shift a little towards the top and not so much towards the center here and that is just a quick tip on how to add gussets to a panel with a curve. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more sewing, quick sewing tips, check out the next video here. Ciao.